Is for several widely used social media platforms say that the victims here do deserve empathy and compassion and that they certainly have theirs. However, they insist that what those folks don't have is a case against them, at least under any applicable law, which would hold them in any way responsible for the actions of the shooter. In a courtroom crowded with lawyers, attorneys for the victims and their families put forth several grounds for their case, including product liability. In moving to dismiss, lawyers representing social media platforms argued that not only can they not be held legally responsible for the actions of third parties using those platforms, but that the platforms don't fit under the state's product liability statute, nor do they even meet the definition of a product under long-established law. Just because it's different from 50 years ago doesn't mean it's not a product. Social media applications are product. Mark Zuckerberg calls it a product. A product they note that doesn't come with a warning label and which they insist is designed to addict its users, repeatedly directing them to areas and interests. This would include replacement theory about which they say the confessed teenage shooter Peyton Gendron, through his visits to chat rooms, became radicalized to the point where he decided to drive to Buffalo and kill black people. Someone had to push Gendron down that rabbit hole that he went to in order to become the person who he was on that tragic day of May 14th. And that's why we allege it began with the social media defendants. It's difficult to hear and to remember what happened. That's always going to be the case. But we're looking forward and we're looking to create, uh, you know, a new day and a change. The plaintiffs are also seeking damages under the state's laws governing public nuisances, claiming there's a right to safety from violence as a result of addiction by design, and even privacy laws because the victims' deaths were live streamed. But here again, lawyers for the social media platforms contend there's nothing applicable in the public nuisance law, nor the privacy laws, and noted that the ones being cited by the plaintiffs actually govern deaths involving celebrities. All of this while reminding the judge in this case that as horrible and as tragic as it was, this case is about the law and insists the law would require her to then summarily dismiss the claims. On your side in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.